In this example, consider the following equation. 3x to the third minus 2 times xy minus 4 times y to the third equals negative 24. We are going to use the implicit differentiation to find dy by dx. And then in part b, we are going to find the slope of the tangent line at the point negative 2, 1. For the implicit function, 3x to the third minus 2 times xy minus 4y to the third equals negative 24. We're going to start using the implicit difference, differentiation process to find dy by dx. Step number one, we find d by dx to all terms. So d by dx of 3x to the third minus d by dx of 2 times xy minus d by dx of 4y to the third equals d by dx of negative 24. Then, um, the term that involving y, that is the one that we have to apply the chain rule. For the first term, we derive 3 times 3x squared as a derivative of 3x to the third, minus the second term, we see the number 2 times xy. So we're going to treat them as the, uh, the constant multiple 2 times derivative of the product x and y, and subtracted by the third term, the concept multiple 4, times the derivative of y to the third, which is 3, y to the second, multiplied by dy by dx, or the y prime, equals the right-hand side is 0, because negative 24 is a constant term. We call y will be treated as the function. That's why the chain will be apply for the third term here. But we're going to have to work more on the product of the xy when we find the derivative. We call the derivative of the product the f times d prime is f times d prime plus the f prime times d or the first function times the derivative of the second plus the derivative of the first times the second function. So we treat the x as the first function, the y as the second function. So if f is the x, and the g is the y, the f prime is 1, the g prime is y prime, which is the y, which is dy by dx. And we're going to apply into the second term. So 3 and 3, we can consolidate or simplify to be 9. So 9x squared minus 2 of the quantity, applying the product rule, so which is f times g prime plus the f prime times g. Oops. So the f is the x times g prime, which is dy by dx, and then plus the f prime, which is 1, and g is the y. So that will be got for the middle term. And then simplify the third term to be 12, as is minus psi. So minus 12y to the second dy by dx equals 0. After that, we expand the grouping symbol, like distribute the 2 to the middle two terms there. We have 9x squared minus 2 times x dy by dx minus 2 times y minus 12y squared dy by dx equals zero. Our goal is to solve for dy by dx in part A. So the second step of the differentiate diff of implicit differentiation is to solve for the dy by dx. I'm gonna highlight which term contains dy by dx. We have the second term and the fourth term. I'm gonna select the right term. Keep the term involving dy by dx in one side. So negative two x dy by dx minus 12 y squared dy by dx equals subtract 9x squared both sides and add 2y both sides. And after that, we're going to factor out the 
dy by dx because our goal is to solve for dy by dx. So we're going to solve for dy by dx, which gives us negative 9x squared plus 2y or divided by quantity negative 2x minus 12 times y squared. So we are done or get the answer in part A. And next for part B, in part B, we are going to find the slope of the tangent line. Slope of the tangent line is the same as the derivative or the dy by dx. So we're going to find the dy by dx at the point negative 2, comma 1. That means x is negative 2, y is positive 1. Therefore, what we have is negative 9 multiplied by negative 2 squared plus 2 times 1. All divided by the quantity on the bottom is negative 2 times negative 2 minus 12 times 1 squared. So the numerator, negative 9 times 4, that's negative 36 plus 2, all divided by the denominator, which is negative 2 times negative 2, that's negative, that's positive 4, and then minus 12. Simplify one more time, we get negative 34 divided by negative 8. Looks like it can be simplified a little bit more. We can divide both, that, both numerator and denominator by 2, to, and the negative sign cancel becomes 17 over 4 as the slope of the tangent line at the point negative 2, 1.